Is this a big yeah. is this a big betting contest, the leadership of the Conservative Party? It's a massive betting contest. We always have interest in party leadership elections, and given that there have been speculation for so long, um, it really has exploded over the last week. We've seen lots of movers and shakers. And so, what's the what's the, who's the favourite? The favourite currently is Rishi Sunak, and he's really jumped to quite a high point in our market. He was as big as five to one earlier in the week. He's now fifteen to eight favourite. He's actually dramatically usurped Ben Wallace, who had been quite short because of his very impressive YouGov polling. Now, is that because of the weight of money that you've seen at Star Sports, or is it because you've been impressed with the number, with the, with the Ready for Rishi video and the number of people who've come out in support of him? What, what's what's made that big difference in the odds? Um, a bit of both, really. Um, I think we have seen quite a bit of money for Rishi Sunak. He's also a previous liability for us because. For a long time, people had presumed he was the guy to take over. He's been favourite in that market for a long time. So he started from a strong position. Well, Henry, I'm going to ask you, what do you think of those uh, figures, those uh, odds that we've just heard there? Well, I think it's, it's early days. I think this contest is wide open. And I imagine that given that betters only have as much information as we do, it will go up and down. Rishi's had a very strong start. He has a very strong machine. Ben Wallace possibly doesn't have a machine. But I wouldn't be surprised if Ben launches to see those odds change again. Um, Lots of people are saying that we don't even know who some of the people are. Are you uh, hearing that when people are saying, who are they? <laughs> yes. so, so, so some of the contestants lower down, even who might have been in, in Cabinet or a minister, people just don't know them. Indeed, and it's always important to remember that you know, we live and breathe all this, um, but political recognition of senior figures in politics actually doesn't stretch that far outside <laughs> Westminster in some cases. Boris Johnson is an exception to the rule. He's a very, or he was, soon to be a very famous Prime Minister. Rishi Sunak has broken that mould, I think, due to the pandemic and the amount of attention on him. But plenty of these names will be unknowns relative to the general public, and you see that, actually, in their impressions in the polling. Is there any smart money on any lively outsider, you know, a Suella Braverman or Kemi Badenoch? Have we seen any smart money for any of the lesser-known people in the field? The early smart money was Tom Tugendhat, um, which personally I was pretty happy to take on. I think uh, <laughs> I, I think a One Nation Tory, if I'm, I hope I'm using that correctly, Henry, but I think a One Nation Tory is somebody from that um, side of the party. They might struggle against the membership. Um, obviously, we don't know the exact numbers, but I'm presuming it still leans pretty heavily to those in the centre and the right of the party. So happy to take on Tugendhat, but there was smart money for him. Um, and also, we did see a lot of money for Steve Baker, who, of course, has jumped out. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw money for Kemi Badenoch. I think one of the things that Henry correctly pointed out is just throwing your hat in the ring, it is enough to move the political betting market.